Jaya Jaya, why I sometimes allow my partner to scream at me? I've been in romantic relationships and sometimes my partner is having a rage or anger outbreak and I'm going to be like, sure, go for it, tell me what's alive. And I'm going to voluntarily, it's a word that is a bit difficult for me to say, voluntarily, voluntarily, Expose myself to what is coming from her, right? So when you, you would look at the scene, you would go like, she's being abusive right now. This is verbal abuse. It's emotional abuse, right? And I go like, yeah, maybe that's a label that you can use. But what I see or what is happening on a tantric level, right? We take it within the container of a tantric experience. What is happening is like there is a woman projecting fire in my direction. Okay, we just reframe right now. It's like what labels it as right or wrong is a human, human distinction. It's within the field of our personalities we say this is a wrong emotion and this is a right emotion. This is if you want to communicate with me, you have to be peaceful and calm. Okay, in the eyes of the divine, what I believe it is that there is just energy <laughs> moving. We label it as saying this is a shadow, it's good or bad or something like that, but in the eyes of the, the bigger field of reality is just energy moving. So when there is intensity being projected into my field, you know, it's like fire, what does it give? It gives me energy, okay? If I'm able to transmute, digest, play with that energy, then it's a positive impact on my field. If I get wounded and traumatized by it, that's something else, but if somehow I'm like a ninja and able to engage into that experience, that might be a peak experience for the day that might be really useful to me. So sometimes this projection of energy that you might label as abusive, you know, verbally abusive, I go like it's a high intensity experience or environment. So this fire comes into my field. What is this fire going to do in my experience? It's going to burn the aspects of my egoic vehicle that I no longer need, the aspects that are, are being outdated. So when you are exposed to this fire, when it's done in an intentional way and when you know what you are doing, then what this does is like it's burning my egoic vehicle. In the process of burning the egoic vehicle, what is going to remain is the parts of me that are truthful, that I need, that are projected into the future as my future vehicle. So what this woman is doing in my field is, you know, hitting the shit out of me projecting this fire, I don't mean hitting physically, it's an emotional process, right? But basically projecting this fire into my field with high intensity and then burning what needs to go. So a few years ago, I was in the Himalayas and part of my experience over there was looking for a female tantrika that I thought could guide me into some form of tantric practices. Well, guess what? If I had found this person in the Himalayas, my guess is that most probably it would have been a very intense experience. And part of what you would see over there is like these female tantrika would be an expression of Kali in my field. And guess what? I mean, Kali would not be gentle with me. She would be like, I'm going to dissolve you, destroy you, so that you can be reborn. And in the process of this destruction and transformation, we are going to annihilate your egoic vehicle, destroy the parts of you that need to go, and what is going to remain is going to be the new reborn aspect of your being. So I went all the way into the Himalayas to hopefully find somebody who could play that role for me, you know, be an agent of my evolution, be my teacher, my guru for the time being, and allow me to go into this space of transformation. So. I didn't find her in the Himalayas, but I found quite a few versions of, of them around the world and especially here in Bali. It means that I've been connecting with lovers that become my shadow trainers, what I call precisely shadow trainer, and that allow me to go into processes of transformation. So what I'm describing to you right here is the conscious or uh, intentional uh, tantric process that I decided and I chose myself to be exposed to. I chose that. 
I haven't been a victim in the process. I have been an intentional designer or co-creator of the experience. And I did welcome that experience multiple times. So what was the impact in my field? Well, what happened is that before having some of those core experiences, my emotional capacity to take intensity and fire and circulate energy was maybe this, you know, a little window of possibility there. And then after a certain level of intensity, my system would just collapse, <laughs> right? I would either go into reactive mode, defend, protect, uh, you know, go fucking crazy with energy, energies or emotions that I'm not able to circulate. So what happened after that is that my energetic or emotional potential was massively expanded. It means it opened the field in my energy or emotional body that I go like, wow, I feel like oh, now I have more space to actually play with a vaster field of energy, more intensity, more fire, more passion. And all of that makes my life more interesting. <laughs> okay, It's as if suddenly I, I'm able to tap into resources and reserves of energy inside of me that I didn't know I had. I can reinvest, direct that into... The, you know, my mission in the world or into relationships, into love making, into all aspects of, of, of life that actually require fire and energy and sources of energy and motivation. And um, yeah, so all that, this is the process that I went through. The reason why I want to describe this to you is because when you look at it from an external worldly three, four dimensional reality, you go, this is crazy. You know, this is not okay. You should not be exposed to that. But when you look at it as a tantric process, then everything falls into place and makes sense. The thing that is really important about this is that you don't have to do what I did, okay? It's like I am quite extreme in many ways in the practices that I engage into and I choose to go in certain directions to explore aspects of my being and sometimes I take some risks, you know, I go like, wow, this, there seems to be something there, so I'm guided by spirit into exploring certain missions that I go like, okay, well, that's the mission now for the next two, three months, explore that and try it out and see how it works. So I went that way, you know, in, 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 um, in a way that is really intentional. It doesn't mean that you have to go through the same process, but what I want to tell you is that if you feel called into that direction or you feel like a field or resonance with what I'm describing, then there is potentially something there to explore. And I can guide you with it, okay? Don't, if, you can go by yourself, of course, but you might, you know, it might really help uh, to give you some shortcuts and some ideas on how to navigate all that and how to create safety within those experiences. So, yeah, here you have it. I hope all that makes sense. And uh, I send you big, big love from over here in Bali.